Hey, this is Latif Mikado, and you're listening to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast, where I take some time each night to try and reflect on the freestyle scene, where it is, where it's going, and try to figure out how to sustain it, not just for future generations to enjoy, but also to benefit. So sit back, relax, and let's talk some freestyle. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Latif, and welcome to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast. And this is episode 88. Great number. 88. Okay, so let me give you guys a little uh, a little uh, backstory on this number and why it's a very unique number. It's been a unique number in my life for a very long time. <clears throat> um, not in any kind of uh, chronological order, but... Growing up, when I left the Bronx, I lived on a street called named 88th Street. It's called 88th Street. Okay. I played football. I was a wide receiver. I played for Elm Jack. My number was 88. Okay. When I was in junior high school, um, one of the classes that I remember the most because of some of the people that were there was class 8-8. When I I was arrested in, uh, um, well, my final time, I was arrested in 86. By the time I went upstate, my prison number, it was 1988, and my prison number was 88A. Pretty, uh, pretty, interesting uh specs huh (laughs) um there's a few others i just don't remember uh they're just so ironic um but it's a significant number it's a very special number so if ever you uh you do the million dollar question and the question is what is latif spicado's favorite number make sure you say 88 don't say eight it's eight. It's 88. Also, um, 88 is the shape of infinity, which means uh, forever. And an 88 is double infinity. Okay, so it doesn't get any more than that. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I just want to bring that out. And today is episode 88. Um, pretty, uh, pretty excited about the podcast you know and and I think that during this during this uh quarantine time that we guys that that we're doing uh for me to be able to come out here and talk without really much happening in my life or any of our lives really think about think about if even for 14 days 15 days whatever the case may be imaginize that you have to speak all you do is stay in your house and you have to speak every single day about something new. <laughs> could, could you do it? You know? Could you do it and hold people's attention? Not saying that I'm holding anybody's attention, maybe not, but um, but it's 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 a good little uh, workout. It's a workout for the brain, it's a workout for the soul. Um, and it's good. However, today was a little different than the other days. And normally I wouldn't even speak on this because I would have had so many other great things happening throughout the day. But today we decided, me, Angel, and Santana is to do some yard work. (laughs) So we cut the grass. Well, Angel did. Angel likes to cut the grass. She pushes the mower. It doesn't do anything for me. Uh, She takes it as an exercise. Me and Santana, however, on when you're looking at our house, on the left-hand side, <clears throat> every year we get this kind of greenish mold mildew that accumulates. And it happens to a lot of the houses on the siding on my block and only on one side. And I found out it's because that's the side that the sun hits the most. Um, 
And I didn't understand why that was, why this was happening. I checked some of the other houses. Somebody told me, and I checked some of my neighbors, and sure enough, they got it there. So, um, <clears throat> and um, so I decided to, and I was waiting for a good day to go out there and do it. Um, I have this house cleaning thing. It's called uh, Easy House Cleaner. And I think I paid like $13 in, uh, in Lowe's. It's pretty easy. You kind of hose down the house, the house first, and then you... Uh, you hook this to the hose. It's a green bottle if you guys ever want to. If you have that issue, I had a neighbor across the street and a neighbor beside me both had that issue. And beside me is an elderly lady. Um, and I remember coming outside. She was on the side of the house with um, a bucket and a brush, a scrub brush. And and it was hot and she should not have been out there. But anyway, I had a whole other bucket. So I just went in a whole other uh bottle of that uh easy uh clean uh cleaner and i showed her and um i even gave her what was left over so she can uh probably buy some more or, or if she ever wants to do it but i'm looking at her house now because i'm outside and i don't think she's having that issue my house for some reason where it's at um and i kind of think because like there's a cross street and it's like my the side of my house aims at that cross street so what i'm thinking is that there's no houses blocking it. It's probably why I get the most sun. Probably more sun than what she has. She gets on her side. Um, but anyway, I was showing her Santana. I like to uh, to break things down. It's so funny about her. She's very clean. She's very neat. Uh, unlike my kids, man. Oh, my God. My daughter. I remember one day. All right. I got to jump around a little bit. One day I, I, I said, okay, you know what? I'm gonna make believe I'm gonna blackmail my daughter, <laughs> which I wasn't gonna do it. I went into her room, right? Her room was literally upside down, I swear to God. And that's how she lived. Clothes, drawers open, guitars on the floor. I mean, upside down, massive clothes. Like, she would take the stuff out of the drawers and, and coats and jackets and, and put them on the bed. And then, and then she had stuffed animals like crazy. And, and then she would just leave it there. She would just go to sleep like that. It was crazy. I was like, how the hell? Okay, so check this out. Because I have to sidetrack because it's so funny. But anyway, I went into her room one day and I opened up the door and I snapped a picture from the doorway. I took a picture of like her whole room in one shot, right? Okay. <laughs> in one shot, I took this picture and, and I said, okay, you know, I'm going to mess with her. I'm going to tell her to post this. Facebook was around, so I think I I was going to post it. I was going to show somebody it, you know. I think I used to uh, um, tease her with, like, my, my sister Cindy. Uh, and I, I said, I think I told her I was going to, I was going to take the picture and show it to Titi Cindy. So, but anyway, so I go open her door and I take the picture, right? And I come out and I look at the picture. I got, got the picture. Okay, cool. So I go and I tell Angel, where's Erica? So I look outside. She's not outside. I check in my office. She's not in there. She's, I'm like, where? Where is she? Went outside. I'm like, so I went back to, I checked her bathroom, which I knew Adam's room, she wasn't there. I went back into her room and she was there. I'm like, where were you? She was standing, at that point she was going through her drawer. I'm like, where, where the hell were you? She goes, what do you mean? I said, I was looking for you. She goes, dad, I've been here all, all day. She goes, I was reading. I'm like, I, I was just here, she goes, dad. I know, you, you opened up my door and you took a picture. <laughs> Yo, how did I see her sitting on the bed? I swear to God, I thought she was a pile of clothes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I took the picture, and she was actually in the picture, man. Oh, my God, that was hilarious. But anyway, <laughs> I had to bring that up because I totally forgot about that. It was so funny. But anyway, uh, <laughs> um, but Santana uh, seems to get her neatness from her mom. Her mom is very neat. You know, uh, house always looks, you know, clean and nice things put away. So she's uh, she's got that OCD thing, man, where she's like, she, everything has to be in order. And apparently Santana has that, which is wonderful because you go into a room now once in a while, you see it's a little messy, but she can't take it. She can't take it. So it'll be messy for a little while. They thing you know, you see stuff being put in the hallway and then she gets the broom and she sweeps it and she gets the spray bottle and the mop and she mops it and and she's setting everything up and she's asking hey i need a cloth for this but the bad thing about it is now she wants to decorate right so she, when she does all that she decorates next thing you know i'm missing stuff from my office so she's going in and she's taking stuff from my office because i'm coming i'm like yo yo where's my pen holder 
yo, where's my little board? And I go to a room and that stuff is hanging up or on the counter. And, and you know, a lot of times I have to take that stuff back because I need it for work. But, uh, um, but she's a, she's a pretty good, she's pretty good when it comes to that. And, uh, so when we came outside, I told her, I said, listen, I said, do you want to help me clean the house? So she was excited. She said, yeah. So we, we came out. Wasn't that, that, you know, it was a little later in the day, like three something. We didn't want to go when it was noon because it was pretty hot today. Um, so we went on the side and I showed her everything. And what I do is when I don't just have her do things. I always tend to, I like to explain things. I like to explain to her why things why we do things a certain way or why does this happen i just think it's important and what's good with her is she's like a sponge she absorbs this stuff so she understands it right so she's been asking me about you know cutting grass she wants to you know do the lawnmower so of course you know i'm gonna let her get that curiosity out of her and we'll watch her. i know she's only gonna do it for a certain amount of time and then she's gonna stop and then we gave her the worst part. We gave her the backyard, which everything was, and we have some roots that are coming up. So it's hard to, to mow the backyard. But before I do that, okay, I show her the gas, I open up the gas, I show where the gas goes. Um, I tilted um, the, the lawnmower over and I show her the blades. And I explained to her, and I have a touch the blades, of course, not while it's running, but I have a touch the blades. And I tell her that thing goes real fast like a fan. I said, now, if you put your finger in there, you know what will happen? It's just, it'll cut my finger. I said, yeah, it'll cut your finger off. And then I showed her where, like, the part where the grass comes. And this is a push mower, not my driving mower. Um, and uh, I show her where it has the, the cover uh, to protect her feet. And then I show her how to, I show her how to, you know, pump. You know, you have the little rubber button to kind of, what is it, to put air or take air out of the line or whatever the case is. So I show her how to do that. And I show her how to hold, you know, for the gas and then how to pull it. And, yo, she started to freak it on the first shot. She started. I didn't think she was going to do that, but I wanted her to at least try it. Even if she couldn't do it, she pulled that damn thing. And she started the lawn mower in the first shot. Also, I got a good lawn mower, so it starts right away. Um, they probably have them electric now. They probably It's probably a key switch nowadays. I don't know. I, I buy the cheapest one. My, my lawn mowers, I have two of them, like 100 bucks. Uh and then my riding lawn was like 1700 but I, I already told you guys a story about that. It's kind of flat. I'll get on there after this freaking quarantine thing is up. But anyway, so that's what we did for the day. And we uh, cleaned the whole side of the house. And then she did some of the grass in the back. We moved some rocks around. And now tomorrow we might, Angel says, yeah, we might, we might not. We might push it off to next weekend and just and do the next step. You know, and just finish some other stuff, you know. I hate doing that stuff. It Though it was okay. Today was a cool day, you know, like in the afternoon. Cooled off a little bit. We had a little breeze. Uh, it was comfortable. So, and she gets really proud. So we praise her stuff because she does good work. And she comes in and, of course, she's asking me, so what part What part of all the work I did today do you like the most? So I said, oh, I love when you were cleaning the side of the house and it was actually turning white, <laughs> you know. So um, I get a kick out of her like that. She's she's really smart. Um, and, um, but, uh, yeah, we got some trees I, I mentioned to you guys. We'll get, I got about five trees I want to get rid of and some bushes, all the crap, man. I don't want it. And then what we're thinking about doing is putting a fence. My house is like, my neighborhood is not, there's not that many fences. It's, they're pretty much open, subdivision. Um, my neighbor next to me has a fence. They've always had a fence there as long as I've been here. The neighbor to my left doesn't have a, a fence. Um, so their yard runs into mine, but they, they're elderly. They don't have no kids. There's, any, there's never anyone back there. Uh, we have an, a swing set that I'm actually got to take down uh, there's no, I've, I've tried repairing it a few times. They're, they're done. But I want to get rid of the swing set, and I'm thinking about putting a pool back there. But before I do that, I have to put a fence up. So I think that's going to be what we're going to do for next year. You know, Angel's talking about uh, getting rid of this house and getting a bigger house. And we went and we looked at some other houses. Ours is pretty modest. We're like 2,000 square feet. We're not that big. Um, we did that purposely. Um, we're just... You know, 
just wasn't something that we just weren't interested in anything bigger than that. Plus, the, the subdivision that we lived in, we wanted to live here because my nephew moved here, and that's pretty much all they had available. And it was perfect for us. We, even now, this was, this was supposed to be a temporary spot. Like, our idea was to move here, stay here for a few years, and in the meantime, look around and then buy something else. Um, and that was like, what, 12 years ago? So we've been here. We haven't moved um, and now actually it's so funny because we were talking about it today and she's like, what do you think about moving? Are you still interested? I'm like, honestly, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable where I'm at. Like, like if we don't move, I'm, I'm good, you know? It's like the kids all grew up here. Like Adam and Erica grew up here and now Santana and the little ones are used to here and families used to coming over here. So this is like the home of homes, you know? I would like to just make it a little bit more comfortable for everyone and, uh, um, I love having our cookouts. We haven't done them in a while. It's just, it's been hot. We've been working. Uh, I haven't been really wanting to go in the backyard, do any work, pull out the grill. I have one of those big grills that looks like a barrel. Yeah, we like charcoal. That's why we bought that. And that one's just about as much, we pay about as much as a gas grill would cost, but we're not into gas, you know? So even now she talks about it. I'm like, listen, I would do, I would do a, a gas grill um, if we had like just a patio and we just kind of want to go out there and cook some steaks or what, but now nah, when we go out there to cook, we want to cook it like a, like a party, you know? So, and that's why we, um, that's why we do it the way we do it. We just love the charcoal. We just think there's something about it. And people love the food. So I don't think anybody could touch our, 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 our barbecues. <laughs> Sorry. Anybody who's tried. <laughs> you know, just the, it's just the chocolate. We just love how it tastes. Um, other than that, uh, just chilling out. Called it an early night, came in. Um, that's it, you know, finishing up the books, you know, since, since now I have a little uh, leeway since I'm taking time to print, I have a little time to do upgrades. So all I'm going to do is just do a few little changes here and there and see if they allow me to upgrade it, to update it, which they, I think they will. Uh, because they're sending us uh, these notice uh, from the printer notifications stating that uh, because of the coronavirus that uh, they're they're limited, um, and I can imagine them being so. I can't uh, even imagine them being operating at all. Why are they even operating? They're probably not. They're probably just saying that. Um, but uh, so in the meantime, what I'm going to do is just you know do some of the, the edits I wanted to do and see if I could. Uh, Reupload it right before, because um, I think they're gonna let me know. Uh, they got they got to give me a date. They can't just surprise me and then have the book. There has to be a date because all of that has to be anticipated. Plus, I have an order in for like 25 books, well, 25 sets. These are for people who have purchased pre-sales. Uh, I'm not taking any more of those, so please don't ask. <laughs> I'm doing 25. I didn't even think at first I, I only had like 17 sold. I, and we were there for a minute, for a long time. And then, like, as we were getting closer to the date, all of a sudden, everybody started purchasing. And then I got a couple people that went over, and I, I just, I wouldn't service it. I told them it's, it's shut down. It's just because I got to sign them and send them, and I can, I'm not going to do that for more than 25 cents. That's a lot, you know? Um, <clears throat> but anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. Everything else is good, guys, you know? Um, I've been off of the news I try not to watch too much of it. I've told you this. I keep hearing the same thing. I don't want to hear the bad news. I really don't. I pray for everybody, but I don't want to hear the bad news. I really, um, everything's still the same here. So we're not going anywhere. We're going to stay here. So um, I just don't know if it's going to get worse before it gets better. I don't know. Like we're stagnant right now, but you know, what's going to happen if it's still like this next month? Or the month after, like what's gonna happen? Like, you know? So it's scary. It's real scary. So, but anyway, all right, guys, uh, that's it for tonight, man. I just wanted to reach out to you, say hello. Uh, episode 88 uh, is a wrap. And until tomorrow, good night, freestyle. Down to sleep, I pray to hear a freestyle beat. For if I die before I wake, I hope to make it to the break.